Hello and welcome to a new episode of Big Plugin Product Slider. And previously, uh, this plugin was named WooCommerce Product Slider. As we have changed the name, uh, Big Plugins Product Slider. So the latest version, we have some, we have brought some new features, and you will see, really helpful. Let after installing the latest version. You need to activate it. Let's try it. And you see the warning message that hookmars plugin is required to run Big Plugins product slider. So you will need to install and activate the hookmars plugin. And hookmars is activated. And then now try to activate Big Plugins product slider. Let's try. And now this plugin is now activated and you see the warning message at the top or notice so data migration required for big plans product slider plugin please click to start and you need to click start click this button and it will redirect to another page where you can see the upgrade process or previous data migration process you can refresh this button to see the or check upgrade status it will update here or it will automatically refresh after certain second so you see you will see the update or upgrade status here you see the WCPS setting upgrade status completed and based on your WCPS it will take time or within a few minutes uh, here is our four WCPS we have created and wait few minutes and you see the post data my upgrade status uh, is has done and after complete the process you will no longer have access to this space and let's see what is happening and we have some bring new options foundation version over right uh, older version and new latest version of foundation and you can select none to uh, disable loading foundation and about WCPS preview and in the latest version we have bring the preview feature you can check the WCPS space and you see there is poor page is not found because we need to uh, reset the permalinks let's reset the permalinks first let's try to access again and you see there is preview on the single WCPS page and you can disable this view or preview simply select no and again it will, you will have no longer have access to WCP single preview page and you redirect to home page or you you won't see the view button or view link under the post list of WCPS and let's check the WCPS part we have bring new options and you see there is layouts we have added new feature to the latest version and all of your previous data or old, old data migrated hope everything is fine and query product options we have bring some new feature here product taxonomy you can select uh, terms relation and this option was an old version so this is really helpful to select product categories or tags conditionally and there is advanced order query order by you can choose for each arguments descending or ascending and you can sort them to take priority and we have added the order 
by meta key and this option wasn't available in older version and style also we have added some advanced options for ribbons ribbons wide ribbons height and ribbon position this option wasn't available in older version and ribbon background and you can add a ribbon text and this is new options and layouts and we have added layout, edit layout editor so you can edit or customize your layouts uh, like you want let's see the layout editor or layout builder here it is and the previous element was fixed but you can remove any elements or add ele elements or customize as you want let's change the title color content color and you see the preview here and you can add custom CSS for the layers we will discuss in later videos in advance and also here is another option you can reset migration to reset your migration data and simply or under the help and support you can click reset migration and click to again confirm and it will start that this migration reset process and wait few seconds to complete the migration reset process you can click refresh to see the stats or it will automatically re refresh and you see migration reset is completed and also you can see the data migration notice at the top and you can start again so the migration data is start again the same way you can check the refresh migration stats by clicking refresh button or it will automatically refresh after a few seconds and you see the settings update completed and the same way it's complete the WCPS update and here is another you see under the layouts tab it will automatically generate uh, layouts for each WCPS you can see the layouts under the WCP layouts tab and you see we have repeated layouts you can remove or delete older layouts so hope you understand how the data migration is working so hope yeah, the latest version will be helpful to make advanced and customizable product slider hope you love it thanks for watching